What's up guys? Justin here with the CGessentials.com back with another Blender add-on video for you. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about an add-on that I'm super excited about. It's very simple, but it provides a feature that I've been looking for in Blender for a long time. Today's add-on is called Drop It, and let's go ahead and just jump into it. So one of the things that doesn't seem like it would be time-consuming and working in models, but that actually gets a little bit annoying is taking objects and aligning them to planes below them. So a lot of the time you take objects like my Bonnie model, for example, and you move them down and you want to kind of align them with a plane, you want to make sure that they're not right above the ground in case they cast shadows so you don't have that gap. And it can just get a little bit frustrating trying to make everything perfect in here. You can definitely do it, but it definitely takes some time. Well, with today's add-on, dropping objects to surfaces beneath them is really easy. And so today's add-on is called Drop It. Um, it is a free add-on that you can download from Gumroad, and I will link to this in the notes down below. And so you can go to Gumroad and you can download this. You can either put a value of zero in here to download this for free, or if you wanna throw a couple dollars the developer's way, you can put whatever val value in here that you want. And so there's also a forum post on the Blender Artist Forums, where you can leave any comments you have or any questions or anything like that. I will link to that in the notes down below as well. So basically the way this add-on works, you install it in your preferences, and then once you do that, you can right click on an object in object mode, and you can see how there's now an option in here for drop it. And so what drop it does is drop it will drop an object and align it to the surface down below. Now you can see how this align this laid down. All you need to do is check this box right here for align to surface. And so when you drop this, it'll take the lowest point of your object and intersect it with whatever object is down below. So it uses a collision to figure out where this is going. So this will also work with multiple different objects. So if you have a table like this one, you want these plates to all be on the table. Instead of coming in here, selecting them all, and then aligning to the front face and moving everything down, you can just right click on these and click on drop it. And you can see how what this has done is this has dropped these on that table. And so this tool also has a couple different options that you can use as well. So you can see how when you activate the tool, we're gonna take these objects, right click and click on drop it. You can drop multiple different objects in here and notice how there's a checkbox in here for align to surface. And sometimes, and so sometimes this can get a little bit weird if there's other objects below them. So for example, you can see how this box got dropped, but it got dropped on top of this box, and this one didn't drop at all. That's because these two objects overlap. So if you were to take these objects, and instead of dropping them, let's move these away from each other a little bit. Now you can take all of these objects and drop them. And so notice how these are currently being dropped straight up and down. So this is great for trees and vegetation and other stuff like that that usually go kind of straight up and down no matter what surface they're on. But you can also check this box right here to align them to the surface. And so that's gonna take the objects and align them to whatever piece of the surface they're down below on. So if you want your objects to be aligned with the topography or whatever object you have below, you can check that. If you just want them to be straight up and down, you can just click on align to surface. And so another option that's in here is there's an option for randomizing rotation. So the random Z rotation is going to affect what direction these objects are rotated. And obviously you can't see that on these cones because if you rotate them on the Z axis, they look pretty much the same, but you can see how these boxes are being randomized on the Z axis when I change this setting. So you can use this in order to create random objects. So a lot of the time, and we'll talk about this in a second, I see this used for like placing trees on terrain or something like that. So in addition, you can also randomize that XY location. So you can randomize where those are on your surface. And notice that you gotta be a little bit careful because you can start getting some kind of weird results in here when you do this. So if you wanna randomize that location even more though, you can use this toolbar in order to do that. And so this is great for randomly placing objects. And one of the applications I see for this a lot is placing trees. So let's say that we were to go to a straight up and down view real quick and just randomly place some trees. This is a tree I created with the sapling tree generator add-on, but I'm just going to duplicate this, duplicate this, duplicate this. So you can duplicate this 
like this, well then you can take all of these trees and you can drop them on a terrain object down below. So if I was to take all of these objects and select them, then right click and click drop it, you can see how it'll take these and it'll place them randomly on your terrain. So this is a great way to randomly add trees and vegetation to things like terrains inside of Blender. So it's a fairly simple add-on, but it's something that really automates something that I've found a little bit tedious in the past. Um, so I would recommend going and downloading this and trying it out. It's a free add-on, so you don't really have anything to lose. Um, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this add-on. Um, if you're using something like this, I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.